Hello, good day everyone. Uh, this is the continuation of our lesson on how to solve first order exact differential equation. I have another question here. From where I sorted it out, they say it is exact. But if this equation is an exact differential equation, definitely we have to transform it into this form m dx plus n dy equal to zero where m is the partial derivative of our original function f with respect to x and n is the partial derivative of f with respect to y so first of all let us multiply both sides by dx so we have dy over dx multiply by dx and to the right we have uh, i can even uh, rearrange this as negative 2x minus 2 which after expansion we get this back divide by 2y minus 6 and we have to multiply by dx this dx will cancel this other dx we can as well multiply both sides by 2y minus 6 in order to eliminate it from the right hand side. So this becomes 2y minus 6. If you multiply it to the left times dy. And to the right we only have negative 2x minus 2 dx. Still this is not in this form. We have to take this term to the left hand side. It is negative here, once it crosses over, it becomes positive. We have two x minus two dx plus this term, two y minus six dy, and to the right we have nothing except zero. Now our equation is written in this form all we have to do next is to test whether it is really exact. To find out, we have to take the partial derivative of m with respect to y and see whether it is exactly the same as the derivative of n with respect to x. Our m is the term which is connected to dx, which we have here. So the partial derivative of m with respect to y is equal to zero because we do not have any term written in terms of y. Then n is this term which is connected to dy. So the partial derivative of n with respect to x is also equal to zero because we do not have any term written in terms of x here. So you can see the partial derivative of m with respect to y is the same thing as the partial derivative of n with respect to x. Hence, we say the equation is exact. So now let us find out how we can find the solution to this problem. The solution to this problem is going to be in the form of f, which is a function of x and y, equal to some certain constant. So now this is the differential equation we want to solve. The term which is connected to dx, you know we say it is m, and m is the partial derivative of f with respect to x. So we see the partial derivative of f with respect to x is equal to 2x minus 2. Now we want to solve for f, which is a function of x and y. We are going to integrate both sides with respect to x. Integrate this side, integrate the other side with respect to x. Integrating the left-hand side, we will be only left with f and this f is a function of x and y. And to the right, if you integrate 2x, you are going to obtain x squared minus. If you integrate 2 with respect to x, you are going to obtain 2x plus our constant of integration. But remember, this is an implicit function where we treated y as constant. Therefore, our constant is going to be in terms of y. So we have c of y here. So this is our solution to this differential equation. But we have to find the real value of this c of y. Remember the term which is connected to dy, we say it is n. And n is the partial derivative of f with respect to y. Therefore, 
we can differentiate this with respect to y. Uh, whatever we obtain here, we are going to relate it to this. So we say the partial derivative of f with respect to y is equal to, this is x, we are going to treat it as constant. This is also x, we are going to treat it as constant. Therefore, we have zero here, we have zero here, and this is c prime of y. So we only have c prime of y here. This c prime of y must be equal to 2y minus 6, because we say the partial derivative of f with respect to y is n, and our n is 2y minus 6. But we are looking for c of y, not c prime of y. Therefore, we can integrate both sides with respect to y. So we integrate this with respect to y. This becomes only c of y. This is equal to, if you integrate 2y with respect to y, you're going to obtain y squared minus. Integrate 6 with respect to y, you're going to obtain 6y plus constant of integration. This time around, this is not implicit function. It's a function with respect to only y. So we have now obtained c of y, which we are going to substitute here to obtain our general solution. So finally, we have a function of x and y equals, we have x squared minus 2x plus c of y. But c of y is y squared minus 6y plus k. y squared minus 6y plus k. But our real solution is going to be a function of x and y equal to some certain constant. So this is equal to some certain constant. We have a constant here, which we are going to subtract from both sides. Subtracting k here, we have 0. Subtracting k here, we have c minus k. And constant minus constant is still constant. So finally, our solution becomes equals c. So this is the general solution to this differential equation. And this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.